Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we still have Tropical Storm Rose and Peter well out into the Atlantic. And, and the story has been the wind shear with both of these systems. So you look at Peter, you look at Rose, you see exactly where they are. Out over open water, no threat to any land. And then we also have that Invest 98, which we're going to probably have to watch that one as we head towards the end of the week, into the weekend, and into next week. That's one that is in a track that could in eventually affect some land areas. So uh, first stop here, we'll talk about Tropical Storm Peter because you look at where the center of this system is and then you look where all the convection is and this is what we were talking about yesterday that strong wind shear coming from that west and southwesterly direction just blows the top of the storm right off there's nothing surrounding the center of this storm and, and yesterday we were talking about if if it had if it could hold on long enough maybe it would eventually work its way into an area where the wind shear would be less and it could maybe redevelop a little bit if it could hold on through the towards the end of the week. At this point, it's just it's been ripped apart so much. It just doesn't look likely that even if it were to move into that area, that it would drop enough of that wind shear that it could reform or regenerate itself. So it does look like this system will basically just continue to weaken, most likely into a tropical depression by tonight, by tomorrow, by. Thursday, this basically becoming an area of low pressure, a remnant low and degenerating and working its way on towards the north and eventually the northeast. So we'll continue to watch it just to see if it gets into an area that where maybe conditions become conducive enough that it, it were somehow to regenerate. At this point, that doesn't look likely. So that may be the end of Peter. Tropical storm rose yesterday. This was actually looking pretty impressive, but the same story with this is what we're seeing with Peter. You look where the center of this is, you look where the convection is, and so once again, you're seeing that strong west and southwesterly wind shear just blowing the top off this storm. So it looks like essentially the same fate will happen with Rose as it works its way on towards the northwest. It will just continue to weaken and eventually become that remnant low as we get into the weekend. Now, here's that other area that we're watching, Invest. 98. We had a lot of convection with this yesterday, but I pointed out yesterday the models were really kind of timid on this, uh, just kind of developing it slowly. Now you see why, because you're not seeing this system looking nearly as impressive as it was yesterday, but still it, it's moving through an area that looks like conditions will continue to become more and more conducive with some lower wind shear. It's a little bit further to the south, so it does look like it'll, it'll encounter different conditions. So over the next several days, there's that possibility that we're going to start to see more and more developing with this as it works its way on that generally that westward track. Notice where the track starts to work it over towards uh, the Leeward Islands as we head towards the first part of next week. So that's why this is something that we have to continue to watch. It does look like the models are suggesting it's going to take time for this to develop, but this could ultimately get close to or maybe affect some air, land areas as we head into next week. So we'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on each one of these systems. We'll keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.